Well, good morning fellow anglers from all over the world and welcome to the beautiful country of Austria. Let's have a look at this. These mountains and clouds and lake and yeah, it's just amazing. This is uh, Jarko Sovenen and Jan Kubala and we've been here filming a new Fly TV episode for you guys the last few days. It's gonna be quite epic, super cool stuff, you know, sight fishing in small, super clear streams, you know, big fish clear water and it's just awesome 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 we are doing nymphing and today it's time for me to step you know in front of the camera instead of behind the camera and we're gonna see if i can catch my first fish on nymph ever so we'll do our best yeah i'm in good company this <laughs> john is a guide in these waters Jarko is a competition angler just a, yeah just a cool guy you know from finland so yeah i think we're gonna have some fun today the fishing here is good, so there's a good chance of me catching some fish. If I don't, it's uh, my fault, not the waters. <laughs> the most fun thing would actually be if I would manage to catch a rainbow trout, because I've never caught a rainbow on fly. I caught brown trout, I caught grayling, which can also be found in these waters, but rainbow is completely new for me on fly, so that would be a super fun bonus. And yeah, again, we'll see if I can manage to use this nymph technique. All you fly anglers out there probably know that there's not only one way of nymphing, there are so many like Czech nymphing, Polish nymphing, French nymphing, old school nymphing, squirmy nymphing with bobbers. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, it, it's not just only nymphing, but what we are gonna do today, what's that? What are we gonna do? We're gonna be doing Fr some French, French nymphing. nymphing. Yeah. French nymphing, also called Euro nymphing, yeah. if I'm correct, yeah. And this is the latest and coolest stuff you can do as a nymph angler. Yeah, yeah so that sounds You'll good to me. Cool kid. I'll be the cool <laughs> kid around here. Yeah, so let's just uh, head down to the river and, and get this going. Let's cool. go. Boom. <laughs> let's rock. So here's the place where we're staying. It's called Stigwirt something. And it's just an amazing place. Awesome food. And as you can see, it's located right where the things are happening. Well, hello there. These things are big. Oh, chill. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to head down into the water and we're gonna see how good of a guy that John is. If he can put me on a fish or not. We'll see. We'll see we'll, about that. I'll give my best. Yeah, it's, this, this is gonna be super fun. Okay, let's go. So we just go down here yeah. and let's start. You just guide we'll me go a little bit down there. Yeah, follow me. Just walk down here. So you're a right-handed caster, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll be standing on your left side, yeah. so you'll be able to cast. Sa safety zone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you can put down right. the nymphs. So we have two flies on the leader. We have two flies on the leader. We have like oh. a heavier point fly and a, a slightly lighter fly uh, nymph on the on the dropper. Yeah. So I'll just help you out really quickly. A little bit tangled. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah, good. So actually the main thing about casting a French nymphing setup is you have to keep the tension all the time. Okay. You won't be able to do like a roll cast like with a regular fly line. Yeah. You just have to like, the casting is like going to aside to you and then just casting overhead, okay? Yeah. So you have start with a short leader just just to get the feeling for it like this so yeah indicator put, and put, put the nymphs in the water yeah good just make it a little bit shorter yeah and now go make a cast behind you and over your head with a little bit yeah good now put the rod tip up yeah actually that would be like a take you're now stuck to the bottom yeah <laughs> but it's okay you can just move a little bit upstream you'll get the nymph out yeah there we go good. I mean, it looks very easy. I, I've yeah. seen you guys do it. I saw the first Infomaniac movie with Jarko. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks super easy, but I guess... Yeah, it's it's not so easy if you haven't done it. Yeah. No. But good, very good. Exactly. You're feeling the nymphs going over the bottom, and that's actually what you want to have. So you're doing it really good now. So this is pretty much the technique. You have yeah. to make short sure casts exactly. upstream. Exactly. And you can put a little bit more line out if, you're, if you feel like confident. Just maybe one more meter. Yeah. I was Good. born for this. <laughs> <laughs> just try to, to lead the nymphs. Don't, don't just let them sink to the bottom. Just when you feel the bottom, 
or you, you get stuck too many times, just lift the nymphs a little bit so you won't get stuck that many times. Yeah. Good. You'll Doing good so out. far, I think. <laughs> yeah. But you've caught fish on the, like, can, the first cast put stuff some, and I don't. some pressure on it. Is it really stuck? Come on. Okay. Okay, I'll just get the nymph for you. Oh yeah, thanks. And you want to fish the nymphs almost on the bottom? Yeah. yeah. So. Normally you will fish them right on the bottom and uh, actually you can change your drift a little bit by changing the angle of your rod. Yeah. Now you're stuck. Don't try to cast like totally upstream, try to cast more in front of you when it's shallow because you'll have a lower angle and your flies will be going a little bit faster and they won't sink that fast. Okay, so I'm almost all the way out like yeah. this. My left hand wonders what it's gonna do, you know. Uh, <laughs> so used to you'll, it. you'll actually use your left hand if you're when you're casting longer distances because yeah. you have a little bit better control and you have to strip your line in. So that's when you use your uh, left hand. But normally, if you're fishing short distances like this, this is just perfect. You don't have to work with two hands, and you can actually you can fish very fast with that technique and with one hand. Good, perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah. you need to strike a I little think bit I was harder. A fish, yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. You need to strike a little bit harder. Looking good. Good. <laughs> you can move out a few more steps. We'll do like two or three casts, and we'll make one or two steps. Okay. And we yeah. need to get out to the current. So start in front of you, and then we'll go a little bit more outside. Yeah. And we'll just work the whole current. We'll fish the whole current here. We'll cover all the space here. So what I'm basically doing here is I'm just watching the line and watching the indicator to see if it like stops or pops or anything. That way I would know it's a fish. Yeah. And you can also feel it. Yeah. So I shouldn't do any kind of retrieve or anything. You no, just no, want to, no. to drift. All right, so we fished the first place now for like 45 minutes. I didn't catch anything. Missed a few bites, maybe, but now we're changing side of the river. We're passing a bridge here. Yarko is gonna fish the other side, work his way down. And even though I didn't catch anything, it feels good because Yarko was also fishing like half an hour and didn't catch anything either. So it's not only me. <laughs> now if you have to cast back then. Okay, up so and... Ah, like backhand, okay. Like this. Yeah, okay. I see. I'll just quickly change the fly. Now? Yeah. Yep. Is it squirmy time? Yeah, it is. There is one fly, ladies and gentlemen, that all nymph anglers keep in their fly box, but they're very secret about it. There we have them. <laughs> There's some controversy about these flies because they're not really flies and they yeah. work very good so they're like banding competitions and stuff like that or it has they have been at least they have been yeah not but any, not anymore they're not banned when pontus is trying to catch his first rainbow yeah. all right so backhand edition pontus trying to catch his first rainbow so right below the waterfall Fish on, fish, fish on. on. Nice fish. There you go. Fish. Watch out. Tip up high, tip up high. Don't let him go into the wood there. No. Nope. Oh, it's big, big trailing. Big railing. Yeah. I like that. Oh. Oh, yeah. They're so strong. Yeah. Don't put too much pressure. How thin leader do we have? 0.14 millimeters. 0.14, okay. Here we go. It's coming. Come on, you big railing. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thanks, John. Oh, wow, that's fat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just have a look at that. That's a fat Austrian railing. How big would you say it is? This is over 45. It's over. maybe like 47, 48 centimeters. All right, just have a look at this awesome bar of Austrian gold. My first nymph grayling, my first Austrian fish. 
Just amazing. John did a really good job guiding this one. Look at that. Those nymphomaniac rods have measurements. So this one is something like 45, I would say. Okay, so one last look at this beautiful fish and then we're gonna let it back. Wet my hands. I mean, just look at that. This beautiful, beautiful fin. Cool. Here in Austria and Central Europe, the grayling have dots. They don't really have that in Scandinavia, but man, they're beautiful. And back he went. Thanks, Jan. That was just nice. awesome. Such nice a strong job. fish. On this, what is it? Three weight, 10 foot nymph maniac rod. It bent so deep way deeper than my 10 weight pike rods <laughs> that I'm used to. Just awesome, almost on the first cast in this, on this side of the river with a mighty squirmy. <laughs> they just work, they just work. Don't judge me. So we should try to catch another one. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. So it's 11 o'clock. We have 30 more minutes to fish before it's time to head to the airport. So let's see if we We'll have time for another fish or not but if we don't catch anything more i'm perfectly fine with that but of course we're gonna try still need that rainbow it was exciting because there's a big you know tree lying in the water down here and the fish just wanted to go straight into it it's just so much fun fishing with this light gear yeah it was no hesitation whatsoever on that fish Oh, fish on for Yarko right away. Nice, nice Yarko. Nice fish. Another nice grading for Yarko. Let's go and have a look at it. Nice. Pull the reel this in. Yeah. Nailing them grailing. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, squirmy master. <laughs> was it on the squirmy? Yeah, that was on the <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't hide from the I, camera. I admit it. <laughs> you admit it. You're proud of it. Yeah. Should stand for it. Look at that. Look at that. Another beauty. Yeah. Not really as big as mine though, no. but <laughs> not, well, not, not even you should be happy for this one anyhow. Yeah. Bye bye beauty. Oh. <laughs> Epic. But where are the rainbows? <coughs> are in the mood today. Yeah. They yeah. weren't like in the past two days, yeah. but they are today. Yeah, the other days when we've been here, the, the rainbows have been yeah. dominating yeah. like crazy, like yeah. five rainbow on every grayling or something. Yeah. Yeah. But now we have two grayling and no rainbow. Yeah. Well, well, we ha still have like 10 minutes or something, so yeah. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> So slowly, slowly. There we go, there we go. That looks like... No, that's another great. grayling. Another grayling. Nice. There we go. Watch out for the tree down there. Yep. Grayling. Slightly smaller, I think. Haha. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you, grayling number two. Grayling number two. What a beautiful uh, Another beauty, yeah. Slightly smaller, but still absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Because I think it took the squirmy. Yeah. And hooked and ready to go right away. Look at that. Beautiful Just gonna do a quick release on this one. Since it was, yeah, bye bye. Epic. Boom. That was a hard take. Yeah. I really start to, to get the hang of it now, I think. I, I start to understand how it, things are working. Slowly but surely, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. This is really, really fun, actually. <laughs> Highly recommend you guys to try this. Ah, uh, even smaller fish like that. How big was that one? Do you think? That was like 35. Yeah, 35 something. Still a very nice grilling. Yeah. It all depends on where in the world you're fishing, but yeah, they're so strong on these like three weight rods. Yep. Call it a day. Yay! Another one. Another grayling. Another grayling. <laughs> You're nailing them. <laughs> 
Nailing them grayling. <laughs> grayling pro. I think they're getting smaller and smaller. Boom. Just howling them in. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a European colored grayling. Let's look at that. Whoop. There you go, buddy. Yeah. I think, what time is it? We can fish until half past 11. The time is now. Oh, that was in the last minute. <laughs> Damn, need to quit this. Good. I mean, this was just awesome. Let's make an out drop there with Jarko and let's head back home. I need to do this again, that's for sure. All right, so those like two hours of fishing are over and we need to head back to the airport. But this was awesome. I got yeah. three grayling, you caught also three grayling. Four, four, five. But I how, 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 how big was yours? <laughs> Smaller than yours. Ah, <laughs> yes. And you know, the, the draw point is based on the size, yeah. as in five versus Jerry's size one. <laughs> now, all joking aside, this was just awesome. Yeah. I would highly recommend you guys to try out this awesome technique, you know, nymphing with light gear. This was super fun. This is something that I would probably not try if it wasn't, you know, because of things like this, because I'm a pike angler by heart and a pike and perch, but it's really fun to widen your horizon and do something different. So yeah, this was awesome. If you want to see even more and even bigger fish caught and even more, you know, in-depth explanations of stuff, you can check out the Fly TV episode in the description below. The, that's the that's the real deal some yeah. really cool stuff and yeah also make sure to check out these guys on instagram they're super cool john is a guide here working for hurch fly fishing so you do guiding and stuff you're yeah, also the exactly. you're also the distributor for vision in exactly. in austria and a few other countries yeah. Central Europe. yeah if you want to go fishing here or have a guided trip just send him a dm on instagram yeah. and and yeah they'll hook you up and as i said jarko is just a cool guy <laughs> from finland i don't know what anything more about you in the angler vision pro team member yeah you can check him out too if you like but you don't need to so, <laughs> so yeah that was it for now if you want to grab yourself a set of nymph maniac you know rod and reel and all this stuff we have them in the canal goddess uh, e-commerce links down below make sure to subscribe if you like what we do and uh, yeah that was it for today thanks thanks for these hours guys and I, I beat you after all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. See you guys.